Welcome to Vintage Weights PGH. My name is Rob and this is a $50 nylon brush for your barbell. $50 is a lot. Should you pay that much money for a brush for your barbell? Well, that's what this video is going to address. Is this worth the cost? I'll also go into whether it survived all the trials and various methods of restoration that I put this through. There are some really great review videos of this brush that already exist. Matt Pendergraf, who has a beautifully shot, I mean, he's a great videographer and photographer, review video of this brush. My man, Coach Carp. So Carp's gym. Coach Carp gets into various brushes and things, and he talks about this brush and all the ways that you could clean up a typical barbell with it. I'm gonna drop a link to their videos in my description so you can check them out. I'm gonna skip over the typical use for this. I mean, here's the rundown for it. If you have a dirty barbell, you're gonna to wanna to do a dry run, all right? You just open this up. <laughs> and then you're gonna to wanna to put some 301 oil on there and then do it again. And then you're gonna take a cloth and wipe it off. There you go. But what I'm gonna get into is more, does this survive oxalic acid? Does this survive multiple uses? Will this survive an acid bath? And is it really all that good or useful? And who is it useful for in the home gym space as well as in the vintage weights community? $50 is a lot. The nylon brushes that I usually link with my Amazon affiliate, by the way, it always helps to buy your supplies through my links or just click my Amazon link and buy whatever you want. That's how I fund this channel. The nylon brushes there are about seven bucks and you get two of them. Oh my gosh, I could buy, oh man, I'm not a math major, but I could buy like a lot of nylon brushes. Two for seven, that's like, I don't know. 12 brushes practically for the price of one of these? Why don't I just do that? Let's figure it out. The best way to figure it out is to get to the garage. First, let me just show you a couple little things that I think are pretty neat. So there are 46 brush bristle heads on each one of these pads. There are two pads on the inner portion of this hinge spring design. The outer portion is a different material than hard plastic. It's more of like a grippy rubber substance that I think is nice along with the lettering and the lines. I don't know if Kim meant to put the lettering and the lines for the purpose of grip. I should have asked him that at home gym con, but it really helps your grip. Whenever I grip this, it really helps to hold on to it, all the lettering and the lines and the surface texture. The other thing that's really cool is that you can remove these and Kim did suggest not to pull on the brush bristles. You might rip one of them out. So don't pull on the brush bristles. You wanna get like a small screwdriver, or something of that nature, or if you have a decent thumbnail like I do, you can stick your thumbnail in there and pull it out. See how that comes out of there? Now, once it's out of there, before we get to the garage, I just wanna show you that if you have other things around your gym, like I have, hold on a second, let me go grab them. Like I have grippers for grip strength and grippers, this one especially, this is from Grip Genie. This is very narrow. The captains of Crush are a little thicker, still not as thick as a typical barbell. So if I were to put this on here, nothing's gonna happen. But if I take the insert out, it still curves and I can put it on and I can easily clean off my grippers and get the chalk off of my grippers a lot faster than using a straight brush, using what I used to use, which was a peanut shaped like wooden handle brush. The other thing about these that I think is nice is being able to clean them. And I'll come back to that, but by removing these, I can then keep my outer shell separate, wash it out, Take this and I can flex it and wash it out. So when it comes to the barbell sleeves, they're 50 millimeters usually and the barbell rescue brush just isn't the best brush for the sleeve. So I still use the cheap Amazon ones on the sleeves. 
You'll see that I'm outside actually, instead of my garage. It was a beautiful day. Now pulling the bars out from the bath, oxalic acid bath, you can see that green sludge. This is where the barbell rescue brush gets really, really useful. Even on an easy curl bar like this with the different angles, I'm able to manipulate it around and get into all the different spots that you'd want to scrub. One quick tip is that although I had mentioned the word submerge in my previous video with Kim, I really don't like to scrub while it's in the bath for fear of puncturing that plastic lining that I make my tub out of. If you have a sturdier tub that you use or maybe like half of a gutter or half of a PVC pipe that you use, then you might be able to submerge it. But I have submerged it to scrub a little bit carefully. Here you can see a fast forwarded version of me working my way through several different bars that I have pulled out of the oxalic acid bath and I am now applying 3-in-1 oil to them. There are six bars that I'm working on here and when it's not fast forwarded, this only took me about four minutes with the Barbell Rescue Brush. In total, what I've done with this brush is I've cleaned off chalky barbells just here in my gym to the extent of about 50 cleanings. And I've also restored barbells, meaning ones that are completely rusty, like the ones that I showed you, or at least rusty to the extent that I wanted to put them into an oxalic acid bath to the tune of about 15 barbells. I would say 20 total in terms of restorations, but 15 were submerged in oxalic acid. When it comes to wire brushes, you can go out and get them. I really like the Forney wire brush, and I suggest you pick that up for weight plates and for barbells and other uses, but in terms of a home gym owner that doesn't do vintage restorations, you don't really need a wire brush most times for your barbell. You just need this. And the reason why is that these bristles are so closely packed together that they scrub harder than the longer loosely packed bristles of the cheap Amazon brushes that I have in my affiliate link. Those Amazon brushes, they still have a place in your garage if you're doing vintage kind of cleanups and restorations, but they do not have a place in your home gym. So if you're a home gym owner, don't buy those, buy this. The reason why is that $50 for this will outlive, in my opinion, the $7 that you're gonna spend over and over and over and over and over again throughout the years of trying to clean your barbell. Let me show you another reason. This is the brush that I used to use all the time to clean chalk off of my barbells. And take a look at that. You see what happened? The brush bristles are bent all around and then they're actually breaking in a pattern. It's like I'm slowly making the right shape of a brush over the years. And this goes for about 10 to $12 on Amazon. And I can say 100% that you're going to end up like I did buying this type of brush over and over and over again, because this is gonna happen. But look at the brush bristles on my Barbell Rescue. Not one has broken. I'm not exaggerating. I'm just astounded and I really enjoy this product. I also really like Kim. He's a cool guy. I liked hanging out with him at Home Gym Con. So when I say this, I truly mean it. Listen, tune in. Not one brush bristle broke through being submerged in water, being submerged in acid, using oil, being rinsed off, different temperatures. It was winter when I did 10 of those bars. Now it's summer in Pittsburgh. A fluctuation of temperatures in my garage being brought back into my home gym and used. Not one bristle broke. Look at this thing. It's junk. So please understand that this is going to outlive any number of brushes that you buy. So if you intend to have a home gym for longer than say a year, spend the money. 
drop $50 on something the same way you'd spend money on a quality barbell, on a quality power rack, on a quality piece of equipment for your home gym, because this is a quality piece of equipment for your home gym. Take it from the guy who likes old weights and turns them into new gains. This is a keeper. Thank you so much, Kim, for sitting down with me at Home Gym Con. If you want to hear the history of Barbell Rescue and get to know Kim a little bit because he's a cool guy, he's a veteran, and he makes these in the United States of America, then please watch the video that I'm going to link to this video at the end of it because you want to hear his story. You want to hear the history of a nylon brush. I know that sounds weird, but you do. Thanks for watching, and as always, old weights, new gains.